Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about two things that's very important to a lot of people is Social Security and SNAP and SNAP how it affects the elderly. The interaction between SNAP and Social Security. If you if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. SNAP and Social Security are two significant federal programs designed to assist Americans in need. But how do they interact? Can receiving from one program affect the other? That's what we're here to discuss. First, let's talk about SNAP. This program provides low-income individuals and families with benefits to buy food. The amount you receive depends on your household size income, and certain expenses. On the other hand, Social Security benefits provides benefits to retirees, disabled individuals, and families of deceased workers. The amount you receive is based on your lifetime earnings and the age at which you start receiving the benefits. Now, how do these two programs interact? Well, it's important to know that SNAP benefits are not counted as income for Social Security. This means that receiving SNAP benefits does not directly affect your Social Security benefits. However, when applying for SNAP, your Social Security benefits are counted as income. This means the amount of Social Security benefits you receive could impact your eligibility for SNAP or the amount of benefits you get. Remember, these are general guidelines and individual circumstances can vary. If you have specific questions about your situation, it's best to consult with a professional or your local government office. Let's break this back down a bit further. According to the Social Security Administration website, the income limit for SNAP is 130% of federal poverty level for a household of one. That's about $1,396 per month. Now, if you're receiving Social Security benefits, that income will be counted toward this limit. So if your Social Security benefits plus any other income you have exceeds this limit, you may not be eligible for SNAP. Let's take on a hypothetical case. Suppose you're a single individual receiving $900 per month in Social Security benefits. That amount is under the SNAP income limit so you could be potentially eligible for SNAP benefits depending on other income expenses. It's also important to note that there are special rules for elderly or disabled. And see, that's what I have here. I'm on the USDA website, and these are the special rules for disabled individuals that are elderly and disabled applying for SNAP. According to this website, if you receive Social Security benefits and are over 60 or have a disability, you may be able to deduct certain expenses from your income, which will increase your SNAP benefits. Again, this is a simplified example. Individual circumstances can vary greatly. It's always best to check with your local SNAP office or a benefit counselor to understand your specific situation. Okay, so if you're an elderly person, here are some of the rules for you when it comes to SNAP. If you are over, if you are 60 years or older, and for the disabled, anyone who gets SSI or SSDI, So it says your household must meet certain requirements to be eligible for SNAP and receive benefits. You must submit an application through your local SNAP agency or SNAP office. If you are in a if, if your state determines that you are eligible to receive SNAP benefits, you will receive benefits back to the date you submitted your application. How do you apply? Okay, so it's very simple to apply for SNAP, guys. I'm going to leave a link in the video description, and uh, you can apply from that link. So if you're an older person, disabled, and get Social Security, you should also be getting SNAP benefits, which will help you with your monthly expenses so you don't have to pay as much for food every month. Okay?
So I'm right here on the USDA website, and I can leave a link to this in the in the video description also. Okay, so right here on I'm on the Social Security Administration website. Guys, if you're not using this website, you're missing out on a lot of good information. The address for this website is ssa.gov, and it has a lot of information. It even talks about SNAP on this website. Let's see. I have found it a few minutes ago. Back to the USDA website. The USDA website has a lot of good information on it, guys. So if you're wondering if you should be receiving SNAP or if you're not receiving the amount you're supposed to get, that you think you're supposed to get, then you may need to redo your application and talk to your case manager. OK, and if you guys have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer each question. So, again, if you're getting any kind of Social Security, SSI, SSDI or even veteran benefits, you can receive SNAP. Now, there's nothing wrong with receiving SNAPs if you need help paying for your food and stuff. Nothing wrong. They say a closed mouth doesn't get fed i heard that a long time ago when i was a young child by my grandmother so she said a closed mouth doesn't get fed so if you're looking to uh supplement your social security checks with snap benefits go ahead and apply if you need the link to apply just leave a comment below and i'll place the comment up under your up under your comment okay so guys i want to thank you for watching this video Hope you have a nice, safe weekend. Also, if you again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. <clears throat>